Good afternoon, my dear children. Uh, welcome back to online classes. Yesterday, we completed the first, uh, the part one, DFD part ten, part one. Today, I am going to start to explain you DFD part ten, part two. The part one we have seen. What are the characters? Who are the people? What uh, what were their relationship among them? Who is dear and who is departed? These variations and everything we have seen. Now, the same the drama. Let us continue the second part of this uh, drama. Before. I explain the lesson. Let me explain what type of the glossary that means the meanings. What type of uh, meanings we may come across in this lesson. So, dear departed, uh, part two. Thrust. The word thrust, which means to push something somewhere quickly, which means that is skip. Move with quickly steps and jumps. That is called skip. And smartly, smartly, elegantly, stylishly. Very smart. Simply, and this word we may use. He is a very smart boy. That means a very stylish boy. And she, uh, he or she may be a elegant and excellent in particular way. Next, retreat. Move back. So, the move back. Simply, we say, boys, move back. Some, sometimes we may say, move back and sit somewhere, sit right properly like that. Instead of that, and a new word we have, which we have to remember in our mind, retreat and approach. Approach means come near, come near to somebody, right? And gingerly, in a careful way, very gingerly, careful way, very. Be careful. Sometimes we may say it is a very be careful and like that. That is called gingerly. Next to poke. Poke means push. Push that one. And solid. Solid means very fine, very strong. That is a solid. And the opposite of solid is the liquid. And next to what the devil. It is an old fashioned way we say what the devil, which means an old fashioned way of showing annoyance or displeasure that is called a displeasure that is in old fashioned way not in modern so simply we say uh, the, uh, what the devil untomfoolery which means foolish or silly behavior so these are the words we may come across a few words that I introduce you to learn and to remember right let us begin our lesson in the dear departed part 2, the lesson begins like this. So, my dear children, you please take a screenshot of this vocabulary, make it notes first of all. Understand? A few seconds, I will stop this to explain the lesson. So, take a uh, uh, screenshot and write and uh, expand the resolution, then write these meanings. Right. Let us begin the lesson. The lesson begins with like this. What is the matter with little Vicky? Here, the previous continuation, if we see, Victoria went to the upstate to bring a bunch of keys of uh, Abel Mary's weather's uh, uh, chest of drawers. They want to see whether the insurance premium receipt uh, in this uh, chest of dryer or not. So at the time, Amelia said to Victoria, you go and fetch a bunch of keys uh, which is on your grandfather's room. So Victoria went to his grandfather's room and uh, she cried, mom, grandpa is getting up. Until then, they thought he was uh, laying dead in the upstate. But really, he was not dead. 
as he was taken alcohol as he was drunken so he went unconscious he slept in unconscious way but these people are thought they have uh, they passed away that was the wrong in, in, uh, intention right then here later he came, he came down and he uh, able said to uh, addressing the all the people who are in the house able what is the matter with the little vicky what is ha what is happening uh, victoria then abel sees ben and joda then he addressed them hello what brings you here how uh, how is yourself ben hello what brings you here what was the matter what was the news that you have come here is there anything special how is ben yourself then i will merely address with them and they will trust they will trust his hand at ben who skips back smartly and retreat with mrs dora to a safe distance below the sofa so trust i already, already told you that to push something somewhere quickly and skips move with quickly as and then very smartly very intelligently retreat to move back these are the meanings right mrs letter at the time approaching able gingerly approaching and move come to near uh, very carefully to able mary weather then she spoke to her father His father is that you is that you she pokes him with her hand to see if he is a uh, solid or not so mrs slater comes to me able mary weather she said father isn't you isn't you she wants to she want test whether he is a solid or not that means whether he is a fine whether he is a human being or he is devil so that's why he poke she pokes able of course it's me don't do that chamilia what the devil do you mean by this strong thing what the foolish things that you what is going on this uh, house what was going on this house don't do amelia that don't do uh, don't think uh, silly be mrs jordan you took us by surprise father are you keeping quiet well mrs jordan said to his uh, her father father you took us by surprise are you keeping quite well are you okay able tried at the time he was uh, trying to catch the words that means he was, uh, he was uh, trying to understand what uh, miss uh, mrs jordan said ah uh, yeah what he said mrs jordan are you quite well yeah able replied yeah i am right now but a bit of a headache yes i'm jordan i'm okay i'm very good otherwise a bit of little headache or i hope looking at amelia able looking at amelia and he said amelia what the dickens did i do with my new slippers what the dickens here what the devil and what the dickens it, it is again there is a, a devil what the devil did i do with my new slippers what, what about my new slippers i didn't see that asking able mary was the person asking amelia slater then able uh, mrs slater said confused aren't they by the hearth father hearth means the area of who um five place on the top of the five place so aren't they able i don't see them observing henry trying to remove the slippers i don't see after that he said and able mary was observing at the time henry was removing the slippers until then he was very why you got them on henry able i asked able asked him when 
So why you have got them? That means why you have gone? Mrs. Letter promptly, that means very quickly, she said, I told him to put them on to stretch them, Father. They were that new and hard now, Henry. Henry, I told you no, you have to wear that uh, slippers because that were very new and they would stretch. This, isn't it? Mrs. Slater snatches the slippers from Henry and gives them to Abel who puts them on hands and sits in the armchair. Mrs. Jordan to Ben. At the time, Mrs. Jordan to Ben. That means they were speaking to. Well, I don't call the delicate. Delicate means not good. I don't call that delicate. Stepping into a, a dead man's shoes in the such a hasty. That means I don't see even such a hasty manner. Even the dead man's slippers they uh, they stolen. So Mrs. Jordan said it to her uh, said it to her husband when. Then, meanwhile, Victoria runs across to Abel's and they sit on the floor at his feet. Then Victoria said, Oh, Grandfather, I am so glad you are not dead. Oh, Grandfather, I am so glad, I am so happy because you are not dead. You are alive. She, was, she felt very happy because she, she was very fond of her Grandfather. Mrs. Slater loudly. Uh, then, Mrs. Slater, in a vindictive whisper, Hold your tongue, Victoria. Mother control her child. Hold your tongue. Victoria, hold, hold your tongue. Abel, yeah. What is that? Who has gone dead? Yeah, I'm okay, little Vicky. Who has gone dead? Then, Mrs. Slater covering that at the time. Mrs. Slater, love me. Ah, Victoria says she's worried about your headache, Dad. Father, Victoria says that means uh, what she said. She's worrying about your headache. Then Abel, oh yeah, thank you, Vicky, but I'm feeling better now. We Abel said, Abel, when. Why when you are mourning and lazy to lazy refers to Elizabeth Jordan and Amelia and Henry and little Vicky who has gone dead, someone sits in the family. Mr. Abel Merriweather was observing all the people at the time and they were in the mourning dress, mourning dress and sad dress. So the previous was introduced that the sad dress, that means black dress. So then he was asking them, why all of you are mourning? Is there anyone, someone, had, uh, someone has gone dead? Is it in the our family? Mrs. Slater, no one you know father, a relation of Ben's. See, her father is not dead and she, uh, he is alive. They don't know what to do. So we understand that um, mistake by mistake. They were trying to escape by doing mistake by mistake. Right? And telling lies one by one. No one knew father. No one knew. That means no one you don't know my father. That is a relationship of Ben's. Abel. And what relation of Ben's? Abel Merriweather asked. Mrs. Slater. His brother. Ben. To Mrs. Slater. Damn it. I never had Ben. I never had one. Ben said to Mrs. Slater, hey, Damn it! I don't have any brother. Then why do you say I have a brother and my brother has gone dead? Abel. Dear, dear. And what, what was his name? Ben. Ben. At last. Here, here. He crosses in front of the table. Mrs. Slater, right side of the from the table, prompting. Frederick, Frederick. Slater was prompting Ben. Hey, tell Frederick, your brother's name is Frederick. Frederick. Okay. This is Jordan. From the left side of the Jordan, uh, Ben. Left side from the table. Say, Albert, Albert. Ben confused. Then finally he said, Air Fred, Alb Isaac. Air Fred, Alb Isaac. Abel. Isaac. 
And where did your brother Isaac die? Abel. In, 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 in Australia, he said. Abel, rising. Well, I suppose you have only been waiting for me to begin a tea. I am feeling hungry. So, here Abel Meriwether was um, served his uh, tea and he said, I suppose, I suppose in the sense, I thought you have been only waiting for me, right? I think. So, let us begin a tea. Let us have a uh, tea. I am feeling hungry now. Mrs. Slater, taking, the, uh, taking up the kettle, I will make tea. So, Abel, come on, come along now. Sit down and let's be jolly. All of you, come on. Come on along me, along with me. Let us sit down and be jolly, be happy. Abel sits at the head of the table facing the spectator. Children, look at the picture. Here, Abel is sitting at the head of the table and the uh, remaining people are spectators. And uh, here, beside uh, Abel Madivada, we may see Mrs. Slater. Right? And from his right side, there is a Victoria. So, this is the picture we can see. Abel. Suddenly re recollecting, yeah, Amelia and Henry, what the devil did you mean by shifting my bureau out of my bedroom? Henry and Mrs. Slater are speechless. Do you hear me, Henry Amelia? He was observing the chest of dryer and the means of bureau. Then he said, and uh, every many weather said to um, Mrs. Slater and Henry, yeah, Amelia and Henry. What the devil did you mean by shifting my bureau out of my bedroom? At the time, Henry and Amelia speechless because they did it. They brought the bureau from his uh, from their father's room. Mr. Jordan, what bureau was that, father? She was very excited. What bureau was that, father? Abel, why? My bureau, that one I bought by pointing, Abel Merriweather pointing towards the bureau. Why? That one, that one I bought it. Simply he pointed and his fingers pick out. Mrs. Jordan pointing to the bureau. Was it that one, father? Father, was it that one? Abel, yeah, that is. What is doing there? Yes, that was, that I bought. Then Mrs. Jordan understood you. A pass. The clock on the mantelpiece uh, strikes six. Everyone looks at it and dra uh, draft me uh, if that isn't my clock too. The devil, the devil has been going on this house. What the devil, what the devil has been going on this. In the England now, the yellow truth and here. Then my bureau has brought down and my wall clock has also brought down and that mantelpiece. These are all my things. Then Ben said, well, I'll be hanged. Well, I'll be explained. Mr. Jordan rising. I will tell you that has been going on this house. What has been going on this father? Nothing short of robbery. Ah, oh, father, father, I understood. Okay, I'm going to explain what, is, what has been going on this house. I'll explain that. It is nothing but, nothing but a short of robbery. And nothing but short of robbery. When your children read the lesson till now and take these meanings in your notebook and learn. This is your homework. Okay? And write in your notebook. Write the date also. Thank you.